This is a Canon PIXMA G3270 printer, and today we're gonna connect it to a wireless router in order to have your phone or your tablet connected to this printer. Don't forget to like, and let's get right to it. There is a way of setting it up through here to connecting your printer to a wireless uh, network, and that's what we're gonna do first is off your screen. It's a lot easier to just connect it through the phone. But we're going to, I'll show you what, where to go and what to press in order to do that. Looking at our screen here, this is the control panel with the display. You're going to use up and down arrows to go down to um, settings, LAN settings. It's going to process what's connected, what's not, and let you know what other options there are. So we have Wi-Fi connection, wireless direct, that's through your phone. So we're going to go ahead and select. Wi-Fi, and then let's go to Wi-Fi setup. So you have a few options, easy wireless connect. That's going to go through your phone. That's something that we're gonna do later. But uh, manual connect, that's where you're gonna manually put in the password. Right now it's looking for the, um, the networks, and this is my home. So you're going to press that and then you're going to select next. And then you're going to select use all routers or I just have one. So you're going to go ahead and press OK. Um, and then you're going to enter the password. So in order to enter the password, it's really not as hard, but you have to use up and down arrows. So you're just going to find the letter that you need then to go to caps lock you go over here to shift and then you put in that and um to delete you'll use this right here so you got to press okay there i'm not putting in my real password i'm just trying to show you how that's done you're going to press OK, and it's going to try to connect. Of course, it's going to fail because I have the wrong password, but that's how you connect your router manually through here. Another way to connect to your router would be just to go to Wi-Fi setup again, and we did the manual connect right now. The easier way is WPS, the push button method. It's pretty simple. It's a button on your uh, router that you're just going to press when there's a time there's about 30 second or one minute time limit. So it says, if you press that, it says press and hold the WPS button on the wireless router. That's your router in your office or home um, that you're trying to connect to. It, it does have that button somewhere. Press and hold the WPS button on the wireless router, then press okay on the device. So you're gonna go press the button. It's most likely it's by you, so press that and then press okay. And it'll connect without the password. Basically, pressing that button gives you the option of just avoiding putting in the password. Another thing that I want to point out, if you had this printer connected to a router and you just want to reset settings, it's giving you trouble, does that? You can do that by just clearing all the settings that you had before on your router. You don't have to clear the printer settings, of course. So what you do is let's go to home. We're going to start here. So we go. From the home menu, we're going to go down to settings, then select all, go all the way down using the down arrow. Oops, not all the way down, device settings, and then go all the way down to um, reset settings. You're going to press that. LAN settings is what you need to clear, and you're going to confirm by saying yes, and that'll just clear anything that you've been connected to you'll need to reconnect to your wireless router again wireless settings have been reset and that's pretty much it as far as the printer menu goes let's go to our device i'm going to use this older model phone and we're going to connect so this is what the app looks like this is the icon that you're looking for is this one right here it says canon print open the app if you haven't had a Canon printer installed on your app, this is what you'll see. Um, actually, not this is what you'll see. You'll see add a printer here, like a thing will pop up. I have had the TS7700 
printer that we connected in a different video. That's a different model. Um, so that shows up there. In order to add, like I said, you're either going to have a pop-up over here saying that you need to add a printer, or you can just, if you already used it on the bottom here, you will see it says add or switch, and you're going to go ahead and press that. See all the printers that I've had connected to it. You're going to select register printer and you can see that the wireless is crossed out. That means a printer is not connected to any network. So that's what we're trying to do right now. We cannot see the printer here. So we're going to select if printer cannot be found is what we need to press and then go to auto connection. Um, it's saying that there's this button that's link button right here and it's on already. So if it's lit, like you see here, your printer is basically ready. On some printers where there's no light, it'll have you hold it for three seconds. If, um, if that's off, just go ahead and press it. And um, after that, you will select yes. Um, so yeah, you have that button. It says press and hold the button for three seconds and then tap next. So go ahead and confirm that you've done that. Um, like I said, the on this model if it's lit like this here that means that button is active and it's searching for the network so our phone found it and um it's asking do you want to set up this printer it's a g3070 series even though it's a 3270 printer model but that's the one that we're talking about so it's going to do that you will see a message just like you saw probably just a moment ago. It said Wi-Fi disconnected, Wi-Fi connected. Um, that's your phone, basically, communication. So make sure your phone is connected to a wireless network for that. I'm not sure if it's always going to work if you're using your phone as a hotspot. That could be a different thing that I need to explore. So it says the printer will be connected to the following wireless router. So it found my other router and you're going to select yes of that seems like that's your network so it says it'll take about 150 seconds it takes a lot less than that 150 seconds that's uh like two and a half minutes is going to take under a minute for sure okay so that that was pretty quick it took under a minute and then uh it said that it's connected it wants to it wants you to try to print something so we're going to skip that or you can go ahead and load paper and do that try out their uh, website we're going to skip that it's going to communicate with the printer it says that the printer is online on the screen over here it says easy wireless connect has been completed so we're ready to go you can see the bars right here of the connection so we're all connected and ready to go simple as that go ahead and take your time and explore the menu so it's got like all the fun stuff like scanning off here making copies does that and it'll send the signal to your printer right before we finish i do want to point out that this model does have a usb connection the usb connection is located right there right above the power supply connection so this is your usb you will need a usb a to b uh, printer cord in order to connect it directly through a wire but that's obviously not a wireless connection i really hope you found this video helpful and if so please don't forget to like subscribe to our channel and also check out my new channel where I unbox, review, and assemble different products. That would be a huge help, and I would really appreciate it.